All right, we uh, pulled financial savings last time. Now we're just going to wire those savings up. So I want everything that can be calculated to be calculated. So for instance, total operating revenue here is just a sum of freight revenues and other revenues. Uh, so this right should be equal sum of B4 and B5. All right. So I'm going to do that, and you should get the same number. So if I hit Control Z and go back, it'll still say 2140. Then if I hit uh, forward, which is Control Y, um, it'll still say 2140 with the sum in there. I should be able to then hit Control Shift right, Control R, and it'll fill that sum across. Uh, the reason we're going to do this is as we manipulate things, we might need uh, to change stuff and things to update. It also means when we build performance and stuff, when we carry everything over, the right things will calculate when we don't have plug numbers. So, um, so we just start looking down for other things that could be calculated. Um, nope, 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 nope. Um, total operating expenses should be a sum of all of these operating expenses. How about that? 13,179, 13,179. Um, so I'm just going to sum uh, B8T13 here. Again, I'm going to control shift over, control R. Uh, and that will, and that will, uh, it didn't change, so it looks like the sums all work. Uh, and basically, you're just going to end up with the same numbers, but everything, like I said, what I call wired. Uh, so operating income uh, should equal uh, revenue minus operating expenses. All right. So again, if you if you want to go back, right, back forward to check to make sure the number stays right, that's fine. Uh, you can also drag these over if you don't like hitting Control Shift right, Control R. Uh, Control R fills everything right uh, from the leftmost cell you've highlighted. Um, other income, interest expense, income before income taxes. So this should be calculated. So this should be uh, the operating income plus uh, other income plus interest expense, right? Um, so it's going to look like that. Uh, and again, if we fill that right, all the numbers should stay the same and just add the wiring, uh, the actual calculations. Taxes, we'll come back to those at some point. Um, and then uh, net income should equal our income before income taxes minus what we pay in income taxes. All right. So, oh, our net, then negative income taxes, never mind. Uh, so our income before income taxes plus our income taxes. There we go. That looks better because uh, of tax law changes. It was a weird year. So anyway, we're not going to mess with EPS stuff, right? So earnings per share, weighted average, stuff like that. This stuff, we don't need to wire anything. We'll use it for some calculations later. The other thing I like to do is um, right above calculable uh, things. So we calculated net income. I'm going to hold control income before income taxes. Uh, operating income. And that. So I'm going to highlight those spaces. I'm going to go ahead and underline all of those. Uh, and then the ones that are actually calculated, I'm going to highlight those by again holding control uh, while I grab these. The ones that are actually calculated, uh, you can italicize, you can bold them as well if you want to, but then you have to mess with some of this other formatting. Um, but that shows where the calculations actually have happened. So I'm going to do some simple formatting like that to try and make it look a little nicer. We can do some more advanced stuff later if we want to. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do that for the income statement. Balance sheet, same thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wire it. I'm not going to worry about the formatting. I'll do that after the video. Uh, to make it look prettier. Uh, but again, I'm going to go through and look at things I should be able to. Uh, so like total current assets should be the sum of all the current assets. Uh, net properties should be, oh, no, nope, they don't have any of the breakouts. So they just have it, uh, pp and &E in one line. Um, investments net. Total, so then total assets should also be a sum uh, of, but you only have to go up to your total current assets because all of these are already summed into there. Um, so it should just be B9 to B12, uh, Control Z, Control Y. Okay, yep, looks like it worked.
control R, fill that over. Oh, did something change? Oh no, just the spacing. Okay. Yeah, so the spacing and format of that shifted. That's all I saw. Uh, accounts payable, do, 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 total current liabilities should equal this plus this. Again, for your companies, all of these are going to look slightly different. Uh, all the statements are slightly different. So just be prepared that it won't be the same exact sum ups and things like that. Um, total liability should be the sum of. And again, since I already have uh, these two lines summed into total current liabilities, it should just be that. Check it real quick. Yep, looks fine. Okay, and then uh, do, 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 need a copy. so common shareholder should be twenty four eighty five six. Yep, just the sum of those. Sometimes some weird things happen in the equity, depending on the company. Okay, and that all looks good. And then your total liabilities in common shareholder equity um, should just equal. This plus this, uh, the total liabilities, total equity. Okay, and then I would I usually do one more thing here. Again, I'm gonna do some formatting things, make it look prettier after the video. Uh, the other thing I like to do is uh, check to make sure everything balances. Sometimes there's some problems with rounding. Uh, basically, we know oh those are merged. Let's uh, let's unmerge those. Uh, I do want to do check figures, and this will also give you a chance to do some like uh, conditional formatting, uh, where I say, okay, well, we know total liabilities and, and uh, shareholder equity should equal assets. So if I take um, total liabilities and shareholder equity minus assets, it should be zero, uh, and then I can fill that over. I get zeros across, and then what I can do is go to in the home tab here, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules. Uh, equal to zero, we should get green, so we know everything's working right. Uh, I'm going to do uh, highlight cells rule greater than zero. I want it to be red, and then highlight cells rule less than zero. I also want it to be red, and that way it'll immediately alert you if you end up with something here that is off. It'll tell you that one of your numbers is off. So if those don't balance out to zero, you have a problem. And then the last thing to wire is cash flow statement. Uh, net income, uh, so 2017 income can come directly over from uh, right here, net income, right? So you can pull it from your income statement uh, right here. And then you can fill that over to 14. You can't fill that over to 13 because we don't have 2012 on the income statement. So I'm just wiring up everything I can. So I'm bringing net income over from income statement. Uh, all of these things, assets, blah, 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 cash provided by operating activities. Then right here, this should be the sum of all of these. Then. All right, so 7230, is that what it was before? Yep, 7230. So again, I'm going to fill that over. And then again, I'll highlight and italicize and do all those things, make it look prettier. Uh, total investing activities should be the sum of these uh, and then net change cash use and financing activities so this should be the sum of all the financing activities yep looks good change in cash and cash equivalents then is going to equal um, operating plus investing plus Financing, right? And then cash at the beginning of the year. So the 2017 cash at the beginning of the year should match up with the balance sheet cash at the end of 2016, um, 12.77. Um, again, we're not going to be able to do that for uh, 2013. Uh, we'll just have to leave that plug number. Um, Cash and cash equivalents at the end of the year uh, should just be cash at the beginning of the year plus change, net change in cash. Like that. And that's it. Now, these other things down here are, are some other special things um, that are particular to the company. So, I would, a lot of companies aren't even going to have some of these things. Uh, there's some income tax stuff that 
shows up. But that's it for um, wire them up. Again, I'm going to do some italicizing and underlining and making things look pretty. But other than that, um, we're pretty much good. I'll see you next time. We'll start building the cash budgets and stuff.